And there we go. It's updating the BIOS. Hi, and welcome back. So today I need to update the BIOS on one of my Dell servers. And I decided why not make a tutorial? Why not film it? But anyway, so here's the IP address for the iDrag. I'm going to accept this certificate warning. And I'm going to be updating the BIOS through the management interface of this Dell server. iDrag stands for Integrated Dell Remote Access Controller. This one is particularly version 8 with enterprise license. Logging in. 80 minutes later. So here we are. We have, uh, let's see what BIOS I have. BIOS version 211. That's what I have right now. License Enterprise. Uh, for example, if you don't have an enterprise license with iDrag, you cannot get this console option, to launch the console. But I digress. So this is the server I have. It's a fairly old server. But it's a very powerful server, in my opinion. But let's search for it. We're going to search for drivers. That's normally the second link. And I want BIOS. And obviously it's urgent. Not a big surprise here. Let's view more details. Scroll down to the bottom. And the thing is, I want to download the old version. In your case, my viewers, you want to download this version right here, Windows, the latest version. So download this. In my case, I want to get the older version. So right now I have version 211. 211 is right here. I'm going to get the version next to that 211. Tells me that there's a new version. I don't really care. Available formats. And you have to get Windows executable for this. I drag likes Windows executable. Download that. Have it. Go back to iDrag. Now let's go to iDrag settings. Updates. So nice thing about iDrags or depending on the manufacturer of your motherboard, if this option is available or not, you can actually roll back the firmware updates. 2000 years later. In this case, for example, it's kind of funny. Current version is 2.11 for the BIOS, but available version is 2.15. And uh, I can go back and forth. Uh, same thing for iDrag. I can go back, uh, not iDrag, I meant to say the RAID controller or even the iDrag. I can go back and forth. And um, available versions, they should call this rollback version, not available version in my opinion. So for example, let's say I updated the BIOS and that update is horrible. I select, click install and reboot, and that's basically it. But in this case, I'm gonna update the BIOS. You get this error message. Get this error message, don't freak out, just hit server, go back to updates. There you have it. So let's select this file right here. Open it, upload it. iDrag knows exactly what it is. It knows it's a BIOS. I can expand it. BIOS, current version, available version, but whatever. Current version is what's on the system, available version, and what's going to be installed. Put a check mark. Install and reboot. Tells me that the job has been created. It's in the queue. I'll hit OK. I'll go back to server. I'm going to launch the console. Server is off, by the way. Right now, there is no signal because the server is off. I'm gonna go back to the dashboard and I'm gonna start the server. Quit the server, go back to the console, the full screen, full screen again. There we go. So it's bidding up right now, as you can see. Testing itself. Current firmware is 2.11. Hmm, that's interesting. It doesn't show me my iDrag IP address. Huh. I wonder why. Ah, oh, there it is. That was weird. These boot sequences are quite 
long. Sometimes it takes up to like 15 minutes. And there we go. It's updating the BIOS. Technically, the way of firmware, but they still call it BIOS. After the update is finished, it's gonna restart automatically. I'll just let it run here. And there it goes. System is rebooting now. We need to verify the BIOS updated. There you have it, 2.12.1. I'm gonna exit that. You can see 2.11. I'm gonna refresh that now. That's not updating for some reason here. Anyway, in this case, I'll just go to updates here. Roll back. And there we have it. Version 2.12.1 is installed. And we can go back to version 2.11 if we need it for whatever reason. And that's how you do it. Hopefully you learned something new. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm out of here. Thank <laughs> you.